Did I want to do another e-bike video? No. I actually didn't even want to do the first one, but they offered me a free e-bike and I kind of wanted to try one out, so I did it. And uh, turned out I liked e-bikes a lot more than I thought I would, so then I wanted another one for my wife so that she could join along too. That's why I did the second e-bike video that didn't do good at all. I That thing was junk. And for those of you who said, it was just me not knowing what I'm doing, not the right fit bike, all that, everything, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Ethan, who helps me film sometime, he's actually a bike mechanic and a very big bike enthusiast, you know, in his normal life, aside from this whole like camera thing. And uh, he agreed that that bike was junk and the people who built it had no idea what they were doing. So after that one went so bad, now I've done two e-bike reviews on a channel that I never really wanted to do e-bike reviews. I thought I was done with them. But the problem with doing reviews about a product is that once other manufacturers that make similar products see you're doing reviews about them, they start flooding you with requests to do reviews. I got 15, 20 requests to do e-bike reviews. I blew them all off. But then comes Rattan. And uh, their email to me was a little different. Instead of just the standard, we would love for you to review our product, whatever thing. They actually referenced my video about the other bike that I didn't like and said, we saw your previous video and we were stunned. And I thought, oh, here we go, because the other company sent me a whole bunch of hate mail, and I kind of thought that's what I was going to get from this too. But uh, they said, we were stunned. Finally, an honest review about an e-bike and not someone who's just saying what they have to say to get free stuff. That caught my attention. So I uh, went back and forth them a little bit, and they said the reason they wanted me to review their bike is because I was so honest about it and wasn't just going to fluff it up because I got it for free. So as much as I didn't want to do another e-bike video, their confidence in their bike made me want to do another e-bike video. The other thing they said that made me want to go ahead and do this and work with them is they said, we see that you say you want one for your wife and we have a great fit for her. See that? A company that actually like looks at the customer and what they might need and has different options and everything for that specific need and customer. That's important. So this is the Rattan Pathfinder. 26 inch by 4 inch fat tire bike. It has a 750 watt motor on it. It's 48 volts. It's an 8 speed shifter and unlike the other one this one is actually laid out very nice with shift up, shift down. How simple is that? Not reaching way up over the top trying to grab something over here to shift down. Hydraulic brakes front and rear that work awesome and my wife can attest to that. More about that later. It's a step through frame design easy on off Big, super sturdy rack on the rear with full fenders front and rear so my wife doesn't get dirty while she's riding it. Like most of them, it's got the adjustable forks, but the interesting thing about this one is this right here is a lockout. So this lever right here, if you push it, it locks the forks and makes it a solid front end. So if you're on pavement uh, and pedaling hard or anything like that, taking that fork bounce out of it makes your pedaling more efficient. And then you just click that and your fork unlocks and you have suspension again. It's got front headlight, tail light at the rear that actually works as a brake light when you hit the brakes, and then a battery of a size that I totally forget but we'll put at the bottom right here. Now as I said, Ethan is a bike mechanic and a big time bike enthusiast. Um, so he was here actually when this showed up, helped me pull it out of the box and put it together and all that. And he, a high-end bike enthusiast, was actually very impressed with the quality of the components and how this bike was laid out. He looked at the other one too and said it was junk. This one he was actually impressed with, and I'll put a little clip right here of him after taking it for a ride. Yeah, this thing gets down. This thing's sweet, man. So did you just spend your day driving Jeeps and riding e-bikes and loving it? No, I would never. <laughs> As a Land Cruiser owner, I could never drive a Jeep and enjoy myself, not even a little bit. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Even if it's that one? I guess. We'll be all right. The seat's a little loose. But, uh... What's your initial impressions? Very impressed, actually. From a bike guy. Bike guy. Long time. Uh, mountain bike slash BMX guy. This is a... Uh, it's a banging little machine for the price. Seems to be well put together. Everything fit nice. I mean, a couple small adjustments out of the box and you're... Ready to go. Now something that both of us noticed is this bike is a hub drive motor, but if you look right here, this assembly is actually set up for a mid drive motor, which of course brings the question of can we Frankenstein this thing to be a dual motor bike? 
Probably shouldn't do that to my wife's bike though. Now this one is definitely much more in the comfortable cruiser category than like the other one was. Uh, the other one was almost like trying to be a downhill performance bike, but with not the bike that's set up for downhill performance, which kind of hurt it in a bunch of other areas. This one seems like they knew what they wanted it to be, and that's what they made it. Like look at the leather sewn grips here. They actually fit really nice and are very, very comfortable. And none of the controls interfere with your hands on the grips like the other one did. This bike is actually very well laid out as far as this goes. So it's got a nice like big display on it right in the center, which is what I kind of don't like about my other one. It's just a little tiny thing over here. But um, as you can see, it'll do almost 30 miles an hour. Tells you the mile per hour you're going, what pedal assistance number you're at. And what's different about this one from my other one is on my other one, no matter how you had the pedal assistance set, the throttle itself is 100% throttle or is has up to 100% throttle. It's a twist throttle and the more you push, you know, the more it goes, all that stuff. But um, this one, if you have the pedal assist on like zero, the throttle doesn't work at all. On one, whoop, it, uh, it works at low level. So even if you're riding just purely on throttle, it doesn't give you the full throttle power until you have that up to five. Where my other one is, whether it's a zero or whatever, you have full throttle power, everything it'll put out if you want it. This one's kind of like a little more controlled in that sense, and it does really work well as far as pedal assist and adjusting up and down also. But it's got all the stuff, like it'll tell you your average speed, your how long you've been going, and trip and mileage and all that stuff on it. And then it also up here tells you how many watts you're putting out at any given time. If I actually rock it off to the side, then hit that. It tells you how many watts you're putting out, you know, of power. The other thing that's handy over my other one is it has an actual battery percentage right there. My other one just tells you how many watts, watt hours are left in the battery, which doesn't compute in my head as far as like, where am I at? So that's really handy on this one. But now the part you've been waiting for, obviously this bike, is not designed or meant for like rock hopping bmx type riding uh, but this is a test right <laughs> Yeah, this one makes a little bit of noise, like that plastic fender up there. Not quite meant for this type of riding. Whew. Whew, that was close. Rocky that was. So one difference, this one's a 750 watt motor. My other one's a thousand. There is a noticeable difference in the power, but this one's not lacking at all by any means, as you can see. Durability test is what we're doing, right? One day I'm going to paint that. I will say the brakes on this bike are very good. Very, very good. I never had a problem with my other one until I rode this one, and they're so much better. My other one's adequate, but these are like good. Ow. <laughs> 
I just got hit in the knee with a stick. Oop, big rocks. So, so speaking of the brakes, and I said the more on that later thing, which my wife could attest to, uh, going downhill over there, she grabbed a handful of brake over the bars, this thing really good. Took a tumble, both her and the bike. Both of them held up very well. The bike didn't have a mark on it. Uh, my wife just had like a little bruise, but she was okay, luckily. But very tough and durable bike uh, with very good brakes. See, good brakes. So, in summary, uh, if you're looking for a good cruiser type of fat tire bike, the Rattan Pathfinder, I do very much actually recommend this one, and so does my bike mechanic friend. Very impressed, actually. It's a banging little machine for the price. Obviously not a performance downhill mountain bike, trail bike, whatever, but um, I've hammered around on it pretty good around here for a while. I've had this thing for like two months now, and uh, it's, it's been great. My wife took a big old digger on the thing and it held up perfectly good. So much more durable than this cruiser type of bike would normally be. Um, I'm probably now going to try to keep it like nice now that it held up. So my, my wife has a nice one and it matches her Jeep on top of that, which is a big bonus. So uh, I actually got a call. I have to head to work now. So this video is going to close out here. Big thank you to Rattan. There's going to be links to all that down below in the description. Um, and thanks to them for having the confidence to actually uh, reference out of the video. Say, yeah, we saw you trash the last one. That's why we want you to try ours. And uh, that confidence is the only reason I agreed to do this. And I'm very glad I did. So hopefully that's going to be the last e-bike review video on this channel. That's never what I set out to do or really wanted to do. But since doing the one, I've gotten flooded with uh, requests from other e-bike companies want to do theirs too. So pretty sure that's going to be it. Hopefully it's going to be it. Unless for some reason you guys really, really like these. Uh, but I'm going to go to work. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you're looking for a nice cruiser type of bike, I do recommend this one. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.